going to do an instructional video on how to install this new system for putting the battery. So I've designed and had some aluminium cases made up and they're big enough to hold the battery and the controller. So the battery here, we have a lithium ion phosphate battery. You can see that there's enough room for it to sit in here and the controller can also sit in. But it's a little bit trickier to put on the bike so I'm just going to explain the order in which you should do it. So the first thing you need to do, I've put some holes here. This one's for the cables from the motor and the throttle to go through. These holes are to secure it to the rack with cable ties. And so basically the first thing is just put these cable ties in and then out the other hole. Open them up a little bit and do that with all of the Okay, so once you have first. the cable ties like that, the next thing we want to do is put we have this motor installed, so we have the rack on, the wheel, the throttle. We have the cable here from the throttle and the wheel. We want to put this through the hole here first. Put all those wires through the hole. Now be quite gentle, don't break anything. And then sit this on in position just on top there. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is connect the controller. So here, we just connect all the components of the controller. Okay, and then we just cable tie it all together. When you do the cable ties, do them loosely at first so you can move everything into position. nice and centered. Okay, get it all nicely balanced. Pull those cables through to where you want them. Okay, and then start tightening them up. Okay, so it's all nice and tight. Then we have the controller through here, which is all good. And then this important part is the battery. So we'll put the battery in. Now, and then you should connect. Okay, so you can see we've connected the controller all up. We've now connected it to the battery and we now need to put everything in but you, there's a little bit of spare room in here so we want to uh, cushion things a little bit so the best way is get some foam put it left right wherever you can fit it in here slide in make sure it's nice and protected because the battery really doesn't like to be bounced around and neither do electronic components in general so sort of pull it out a bit if you have to and Get some nice uh, padding around the battery. Put it in. Bubble wrap works pretty well for this, but unfortunately I don't have any at the moment. So. Okay, just put some around. Don't need to go crazy with it, but it does need some protection. And the controller as well. Feed all the wires back in through there. Okay, it's a bit fiddly but in the end it is a better system I believe. Okay, the bit of a problem here is the racks come up so what you can actually do with that rack this end of the racks causing a bit of a problem here so we're just going to get that rack bend that down a little bit. Do it that side. And this side. Okay, and I think we'll find that components go in there a little bit better now. Okay, so now that's taken care of, and 
you see that. It really is a little bit fiddly, a little bit tricky, but it's not terrible. Push that controller right up there. A little bit of padding for it, so else it doesn't move around. And we've got lots of room still to put all the wires in. Fuses. Stick all of that in there. We'll just screw it all together. Finally, we just want to screw it all back together just from the top. Okay, have a switch here, off, on. Always turn it off when you're not using it. And let's see if it all actually works. <laughs> Beautiful. First time, no problem. Okay, okay. I'm just going to show you how to charge the battery. It's very simple. You can't really make a mistake. You plug the charger in. As you ch sit, plug it in, you'll see a green light. Green light means there's power going to it. And then you simply connect it. It doesn't really matter with these chargers, which order you do it. And you can see now there's a red light on the charger. The red light means that there's charge going into the battery. So the battery is charging now. And the battery is fully charged, this light will eventually go green. So if you're not seeing the light go red initially and you know it's flat, then there's something wrong. Make sure you see this light red, it's an indication that everything's okay, the battery is being charged. Thank you. You'll succeed at last.